USB devices for things like movies and music and documents and videos and then you're using your Wi-Fi devices like tablets and cell phones, your iPhone, your Android and the problem is is there's no real easy way to get all of your media to your Wi-Fi devices. Some people have solutions you might think okay well I can use my router but the problem is the router is not portable. Your router typically is in your home and usually when you want to use those items you're not. You might be in the car, you might be at work, you might be on the go. Another potential solution would be the cloud but the cloud costs money, it's not that fast and you need to be connected to the internet. So realistically that's not a solution that's going to fix it. And then finally you might, okay, well I can use my laptop, but do you really want to carry around your laptop with the tablet or your cell phone and your Wi-Fi device just to transfer all that media? So here at HyperShop we've come up with a fast, easy, portable solution that will bridge the gap between your USB devices and all that media, movies, and music and your Wi-Fi devices like your tablets and your cell phones. Our first product up is going to be the iUSB port 2. It's this little guy here in white, we have one up there in black. This is essentially a router plus a battery. What that means is you can plug any USB device into this and it's going to become a wireless USB device. So with a show of hands, how many people here have kids? Who has kids? Great. Okay, so you're in the car with your kids and I'm sure you know your kids want to watch movies all the time when you're in the car. But the problem is A, they might not have internet. So you can't stream things off YouTube and maybe even Netflix or something like that. It's just not feasible. And then B, if you want to put a movie on there, that's a big pain in the butt. Your iPad doesn't have a lot of space. Your cell phones don't have a lot of space. So what you can do, um, you can put all those movies and music and videos on uh, the iUSB or on a hard drive and plug it into the iUSB port. And then you can have up to five different people stream five 1080p HD movies from here at the same time. And because this is uh, separate from the internet, you do not need the internet to use this as long as you're within range. Um, there isn't any buffering issues. This is going to retail for $49.95. And aside from being a Wi-Fi hub, you can also use this as a battery. This is a 3300 milliamp battery, which will charge a cell phone about two times. It can also power your um, hard drive or other USB devices. Next up is going to be the iUSB port mini. Uh, this is the same concept as the regular iUSB port 2 except it has a little bit of storage built in. This has 64 gigabytes of space. Um, it still has the USB ports you can plug other products in and those products will become wireless and you can plug this into a computer and move, uh, move all your movies and music through it that way as well. This is going to retail for $69.95 and this is coming out in March as well. And then last up is the iUSB port HD. So because most people use our products with a hard drive, we decided to make one with a hard drive built in. You can put anywhere between 500 gigabytes and 2 terabytes of space in this guy. It also has an SD card slot so you can, if you're a photographer, you can put a card in, you can make that wireless or have it interface with the hard drive as well. And uh, you might ask yourself, well how do I get all this stuff onto my Wi-Fi device? I'm going to show you right now, it's actually really easy. So. Um, in the little window here, it's the SSID, it's iUSB port HDB. So if you were to go to your Wi-Fi settings, you'd be able to see this pops up in there. So I'll do that here on the iPad. The notice under Wi-Fi, it says I'm connected to iUSB port HDB. So that's perfect. And then there's a free app that you're going to download. So on all of your cell phones and on your tablets, you're going to download the iUSB port. Um, if you happen to not be able to download it, you can access it through the IP address. Um, which it shows in the application as well. So I'll reload the dashboard. So you'll see up here it says the IP address. That's the IP address you type into your browser if you want to access all the files on the right hand side. Um, here I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the C drive. And you'll notice we've got one of our hyper videos there. There isn't any buffering issues. I can move it to the middle of it, to the end of it, and it'll start playing in real time without any issues. And this is true with all sorts of videos. You don't get that kind of service when you're, you know, streaming something from the web. Um, does anyone have questions on these Wi-Fi type of devices before I go over the two new batteries we have this year as well? Any questions? Anybody? Nope. Okay, cool. So this year we also have two new battery products. This is called the Hyperjuice Plug. Uh, we're known because we make military-grade batteries. So again, you get about a thousand charges.
charges before this battery starts to dissipate. It comes in a whole host of colors. You get about eight colors with this. Um, and it's called the plug because it has a retractable plug, so you can just plug it into the wall, and when you're carrying it around with you, just plug it back in. Uh, there's two USB ports. You can simultaneously charge two iPads at the same time. They're each 12 watts. Um, and this battery is about 10,000 milliamps. That's about 20 hours on an iPad and about 10 cell phone charges. This is also the Hyperjuice plug. This is just a larger version. It's 15,000 milliamps. So that's going to be a, a little bit more time on an iPad and a couple more cell phone charges as well if you feel you need more energy. Um, the little one is going to be retailing for $129.95. The larger one is $159.95. And these are both on the market now. And then the last new battery we have this year for CES 2013, this is actually a prototype. It's going to be coming out in March. It's called the okay, Hyperjuice Pico. This is a 3,000 milliamp battery. That's about two cell phone charges but the really cool thing about this is it has all your major plugs combined so if anyone has an, um, an Apple iPhone 5 this has the Apple lightning plug this has the micro USB plug for all your Android users Blackberry users um, if you even want to charge a USB device you can still plug a USB product in it and it has a USB plug so when you're ready to recharge your battery because these are rechargeable batteries just plug it into uh, a USB port and let it charge up as well coming out in March again it's $69.95 for this Guy. It'll look better too. It'll look really cute. So next up, um, any questions on the batteries? No. We have a um, perfect. Uh, this gentleman here used our iUSB port technology. There's a software developer kit that's involved with it. He used that to create an interface for um, your camera, and it'll talk to all your Wi-Fi devices. It was on Kickstarter this summer. They raised $103,000 in August. He's going to tell you a little bit about the product right now. Hi guys, uh, I'm going to talk about Camera Mater, which is built on the iUSB board technology. Uh, basically this device turns your DSLR camera into a Wi-Fi device. It plugs into the USB port of Canon and Nikon DSLRs. It creates its own network, so you can join that network from an iPad, an iPhone, a laptop, and basically control the device and camera uh, from the iPad and also transfer images in real time. I'll do a quick little demo for you. I took a couple of photos and you'll see these images transfer to the iPad. And these are full resolution images so you can zoom in and look at the details. You can also share these photos uh, into the photo stream. Uh, on the Mac you can share them with Photoshop and Lightroom. You can also, as I mentioned, control the camera from the app so you can change the settings. Uh, you can trigger the camera, you can do time-lapse photography, HDR photography, self-portrait, all those features. The unit has its own built-in battery, a 3300 uh, milliamp hour battery. So it doesn't use any battery out of the camera and uh, you can run it for pretty much the whole day uh, in a normal use case. The unit works with about 22 different models of Nikon and Canon uh, DSLRs and it, is, it retails for $299. It's available right now on the website and uh, if you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them. No questions? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, please stop by the booths on both sides uh, for more live demos and more detailed information. Thank you.